G'day guys, it's Mark and Dad here from North Oz and today is a very exciting day. Uh, fortunately, I've come down with a bit of a flu, but that's not going to let us stop us from getting the brand new uh, Dual Cab 79 series that we have had ordered for about six weeks now. We're very excited to share that with you guys and um, it's going to be a pretty good day. What do you reckon, Dad? I reckon it'll be great. Can't wait. Thanks for joining us, guys. Let's get stuck into it. Let's go pick up a brand new 2023 79 series Land Cruiser. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, Mark, so here we are. We just pulled up and uh, Mark's pretty excited. Look at the face on him. He is excited. I saw right through the window as we came in, so I'm, I'm, yeah. pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty keen to get in there. Okay, so we're going to get out the car without further ado and let's do the walk in. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. <laughs> so here we are at John Cole Toyota and we're just walking in. This is Mark leading the way. I have to keep up. Try to restrain myself from, <laughs> from bolting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put on his track shoes so he could sprint. That's right. Into John Paul Toyota. So here we are. Can you, can, can you see the car? Yeah, where is it? Is that it there? Yeah. Okay, so we might show you now what it looks like as we walk in. Alright, just start it up. I miss it. We'll do, we'll do, yeah. Okay, here we go. Right. He's gonna start here we go. it. First time starting it up. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, it's not the first time. It's the second time I missed the first one. <laughs> oh yes, that's the door. That's the video. Good on you guys. <laughs> Guess how many uh, kilometers are on this, Dad? How many? A whopping 10. Uh -huh. Okay, so here we go. We're um, in the car, in the Land Cruiser, and we're heading out. Ready for the maiden voyage. We're ready for the trip back home. All right. Let's do it. And there's Mark uh, changing gears. Mate, I haven't driven a manual in a while since I had my Subaru. Yeah, so you might have to get used to that. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, <laughs> the view in this is unreal. Like, you can see everything. You can see the front of the car. You can see literally everything. It is, it's insane. And these seats are so comfortable. They are very comfortable. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'll try not to crash on the first time we take it out, hey? <laughs> Imagine. We're off. Quick change. <laughs> oh, there's not a lot in first gear. Nah. So we're off. Here we go. Hang we're back. building up speed. Here we go. We're nearly at the speed limit. Thing's pretty gutless, but um, <laughs> for V8. For a V8, I know. Yeah. But that, you. you can feel the torque though from really yeah. early on. Yeah, you really. cruise on this though. It, it'll cruise yeah. well. Yeah, oh man, like the seeing that massive bulge out the front or uh, in that bonnet is so cool. This 79 so far, even though I've driven it two kilometers now, it is very much a truck. It's very much a, yeah, yeah it is very much a, exactly what it says, it's a military. It feels exactly like that because the way that you interact with it is completely different. It's a lot louder, you know, It's it, the seats are very different. Um, everything that you do with this car is completely different 
but how you in the from the way that you get in it is completely different um, from a Hilux. So good or bad, I mean, we'll find out eventually. But uh, for now, I'm very happy. I think this is a, this is awesome, and the V8 sounds good, even though it's got a pretty quiet exhaust on it. We might have to change that. But um, yeah, I reckon like stick around, guys, because we got a lot coming for this car. Not a lot. Like we, are, this isn't going to be a crazy, crazy build. But I think that a few select modifications will really make this an absolute touring weapon without having to spend millions of dollars on it, on it like what a lot of people do. So, what do you think about it, Dad? I think it's great. I think um, it reminds me of a had an old a had an old F one hundred truck back in the day. I used to carry a lot of stuff around for my business and that, and um, reminds me of that with the. Yeah, just yeah. As Mark said, it's a truck, and um, it's quite comfortable though. I mean, the seats are really comfortable. They're not big, and they no, like but, I mean, but they are, we, we but dwarf these seats. But they're comfy. Yeah, yeah that's that's the thing, and they yeah. No, I like it. It's, I don't know. I'm 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 a bit like Mark. I like a basic car. I mean, I never asked for a million features on you know things to talk to me out of the console and all that stuff. I just like a basic car that you could drive and this is exactly what this is. It's a basic car, a good, tough, basic car. Now, if you guys want to see something funny, pan the camera over to here, Dad, so they can see what I'm about to do. So, right now, guys, I need to adjust my side view mirrors. So, here we go, while we get up to 100, which this thing absolutely pulls getting up to. So I need to adjust my side view mirrors. Now, I don't have uh, power windows, so and I don't have power mirrors. So this is how you do it, folks. Strap yourselves in. This is what you do, you ready? Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. Oh, much better. That's just like the uh, old. there we go. That's just like the old days. Take me back to 1970. Oh, that's, I what I, that's how we used to do it back in the day. So funny, and this has cruise control. What? Okay, it's got really? cruise control. I can't believe it. What was the thought? Hey, this thing's uh, this thing is absolutely specked out. That's about <laughs> it. Hey, I don't want to make a walk around video on it because it's going to be two seconds. It's going to be uh, it has a Rav Four from 2004 head unit, and it's got uh, the cruise control. That's it. Uh, and it's got knobs. Yeah, it does. It's got knobs, and it's got uh, dial like uh, not knobs. Yeah. It's got these things, levers. Yep. You hear that? That's it. Oh. Oh yes. I love levers. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've just found a very interesting accessory on this car, which I've never seen before on any car at all. And I will show you. Here we go. I'm just gonna turn the screen around <laughs> if I can. All right, so the very exciting feature is uh, a crutch cooler, I'm calling it. And, uh, and there's a vent down here that shoots nice cold air right at your genitals. What? You don't want to say genitals. You could, you could <laughs> what? You could just say your crutch. Oh, or right at your crutch. <laughs> so there you go. How cool is that? Um, I think that that's worth the price tag alone. Not bad. I reckon that that should be included in every vehicle, especially ones up here in far north Queensland. That's going to come in very, very handy, I think, in the summer months.